The new law will free up $11.5 billion in international rescue loans. But it will also overturn what had been a guarantee of a job for life for civil service workers. John Seropoulos reports. She's addressing her politicians personally. Behind her, hundreds of other protesters are sending their own message. They've taken chunks out of our pensions. They took away our bonuses. How will we live? They keep demanding more and more and more. They should put their hands in their own pockets and bring back the money that was stolen from the public purse and give it to us. Although this bill doesn't bring in new austerity measures, it implements some of the harshest Greece has committed itself to. So far during this crisis, public employees have been prematurely retired or gone when their contracts wound up. With this bill, the government crosses the Rubicon and attacks the citadel of tenured civil servants. It will fire 4,000 this year and 25,000 over three years. For the first time, the political system is turning on the state it built in order to survive. There are benevolent measures too. Thousands of Greeks who owe taxes they cannot pay stand to have their debts wiped clean, allowing them a new start in life. But it's the implementation of cuts in public employees that are stealing the spotlight. Those employees now constitute one in four people with work. The union that represents them says this is yet another turning of Germany's austerity screw at the expense of the European periphery. It says cutting public spending further will merely prolong the recession. It's a new policy which is imposed not only in Greece. The same situation is in Portugal. I was there last week. The same situation is in Italy. The same situation is in uh, the same policies in Spain. So if this is the new model we want for Europe, so I have to say uh, very in a very polite way that it's, it's, uh, it's not correct. We have, they have to change this policy. So far, the government says it's on track to meet its deficit targets this year, thanks to unswerving execution of its commitments. But Greeks are deeply skeptical about whether the numbers will lead to happiness in the real world. John Saropoulos, Al Jazeera, Athens.